Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little stressed out, and I haven't gotten good sleep in a while. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then come on and let us watch this major megastorm as it seems to be overperforming. Now just look at the exact shape and structure of let's just take, I guess for now, this one storm. Although I think this is the storm that follows. And then there's a third giant storm behind it. That is also very fascinating, in my opinion. I can't remember any other storm looking like that. We're not used to seeing a cyclonic hurricane looking things hit the west coast. And that is just slapping all of California with its tail right in the face. This is dangerous. If I have a um, sense of humor about it, it's because that's the only way to stay sane when you talk about this all day, every day. Okay, so these are the wind fields that are going on. So that big wind field we are seeing that is affecting the West Coast. There's an even giant one that is stretching from the volcano fields of Japan, to the volcano fields of Russia, to the volcano fields of Alaska. And then there's one over here by whatever these places are called. Is my geography that shitty? Or... Am I making a joke? I know. It's like a choose your own adventure. You guess. I would say, dang, those look like erupting under ocean volcanoes. But then I would probably get in more trouble than I already met am in. And I'm damn near near the legal amount. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so this is the misery index. And these are the people. The people in blue are cold. The people in dark gray are mild, and then the people in red are hot. Well, they're not, they're not people, that's land and air. And so here's our swirly things, but I'm, it's worth noting how big that low pressure system and wind field thing is dragging the cold down into the Pacific, creating one hell of a convergence line. Boom, we're switching. This is total cloud water, and there's a lot of total cloud water. It's making a bunch of shapes that are lining up in a single file line. That's crazy. And so here's our giant, reoccurring giant low pressure system that connects between the volcano chains. And then here are the two other moons and planets next to it. I mean, low pressure systems. And here's our low pressure system that is going to be affecting California, Oregon, and Washington. And then here's the secondary low that will follow after it. Good to know. And then these are the wind fields now. And look at that, dude. That is pretty magnificent I mean as far as like an art piece that definitely looks artistic or it has shape or form there's so much going on in the ocean right now there's totally absolutely so much going on in the ocean right now and so yeah uh, hopefully everybody has battened down the hatches and is in for a 96 hour rain event it's going to be windy you're going to have some mudslides, and you got a pretty nasty rain ban that is going to roll through. It looks like Los Angeles and Southern California may actually bear the biggest brunt punch of the whole storm. It's true. That's my guess. Technically, I can't say I'm a professional anymore, I guess, since YouTube demonetized me. Uh, they really don't like people talking about volcanoes and shit. All right. Maybe I should get a job as a carbon tax salesman. Okay. Dang you, Jesus, teaching me to tell the truth and shit. I don't get nailed to a cross. What? Boy, and I veered off target. Okay. Then let me switch the subject. Back to weather. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, giant dam. Killed lots of people in Brazil. And uh, by limited liability company may they may have dumped a bunch of toxic shit into the river um and the weather channel the weather channel agrees this is a dangerous situation ahead for california and horrific situation in chicago frostbite injuries pile up from deadly cold because we just had our polar vortex dip down and push a bunch of Arctic air into the middle of the United States and then the East Coast. 
But look at this water vapor trail that goes all the way from those volcanoes all the way up the west coast and then through Canada and then back out again. Going over to Europe. And they've been getting hit with storms too. All right, now we're looking at total precipitable water. Just watch how this thing, the shapes, man. There's some crazy processes that are happening in our atmosphere. One, two, three. See, that's not even the low. That's, and the, these almost look like binary Fujiwara shit happening. I don't know what's going on. I put y'all on high alert. I don't do that jokingly. Oh, so here we have a rain band. I'm the rain man of rain bands. And this one is like, whoa. I mean, they've gotten so crazy. I don't even point them out that much anymore. But this one is definitely worth noting. How it just now it's like the next evolution. And that's the thing with rain bands. They're like... um Things made of Plato, you can kind of twist them, so you know we could see a that that could cover a lot of area as it trains over. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, so I got cool shit to show you. Well, I'm not cool, dangerous, but Mother Nature's dangerous, interesting and fascinating. But as you can see, the heavier rain is just now starting to move in, and a possible sleet snow for Texas jumping all over the place now. I gotta go back. Okay. So this is our storm here, but notice this is hour six, which is like six hours from now, 12. So then the rain doesn't actually move, finish with California until Wednesday, which is 96 hours from now. So the event has pretty much just begun with the last few hours. It's doing some wild stuff. Did I click off the one main thing I wanted to show you the most? Way to go, dude. I said to myself, hold on one moment, please. As I have to correct my error and go to spaghettimodels.com to find exactly what I'm looking for. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. And I heard from a source that it's going to be a weird energy day. So prepared for weird energy. Try to make good choices. If you feel all angry or uh, try not to pop off. Try to be cool. That's always been the theory here. Although, it hasn't been catching on like cotton candy. All right, so here's where we're going to talk about the main thing that I'm worried about. As this system matures, like it's not even in its final form yet, bro. See that thing? Like, this is a real nasty looking event. And there's still a lot of moisture pouring out of the bottom. Of the tail. Did I just lose my place again? Dang it. I'm going to drag you to the end. There we go. Now, in the future, it might take a second to load, but I want you to watch. There's like Los Angeles in that rain band right there, and then it globs out a lot of rain. That puff is fake. But, okay. Let's go with some heavy rain into Los Angeles, Santa Barbara. Are we out of here? Yeah, so. they like right in there. And then now watch. And so it's going to put, I think when it goes up these hills here, it's going to put, it's going to, that rain band is going to extend all the way from, I notice how it's yellow and red. It's going to extend all the way from like Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, Anaheim, all the way. It stops being yellow just past San Francisco into Sacramento. And so that impressive rain band is going to drop a lot of rain. And that little clump right there is what I'm worried about. And the burn scar areas are, they were like binary. You had one up here by Chico, and then you had another one down here by Malibu. So those areas are both going to be getting hit pretty hard. It's almost where the start and end point of the actual full stream is. Um, so, all right. 
is your up to minute update. I'm so fascinated with the storm. I probably won't be able to sleep anytime soon. Who knows, though? Wow, did you see that, V? Yeah, so just watch all the strange eddy stuff. There's someone's box. There's your... She's starting to spin up. So yeah, it's a dangerous, strange, and weird situation. And this has been my update. Hopefully you guys took it pretty seriously because you got about 90 more hours to go. And I will be here. It is part of the three-day Thor News fundraiser where I raise my rent every month in the first three days. It's a very exciting roller coaster period. Yeah, it's day two. I'm going to need a miracle. But I don't know. Somehow, a miracle always shows up. Has my luck run out? I don't know. It's a cliffhanger. Everything's a cliffhanger. It's like 2019, you know? I got an idea. How about we all work together and make cool shit again? And people stop arguing like it's some weird high school thing. Like, I don't even know why everybody's fighting. Like, why are all the nations fighting? Why is everybody fighting? What is the deal? We got a bunch of shit falling apart. The weather's getting crazier every day. And the sun is like, hey, I would like rock and roll to return. And people to stop complaining all the dang time. Because I can hear y'all. And the animals are like, man, you guys going to let us all go? If we go, you go too. And we're like, yeah, um, we're one big earth family. Uh, let's do some cool shit before it all falls apart. But that's, you know, one man, one idea. Okay, so I'll leave my PayPal link in the top of the thingy. If you want to help Thor News survive. Um, and then I'll probably get to talk to y'all in the very near future. Because that's what I do. Okay, stay cool and I love you. Peace out.